Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have 24 thriller recommendations for you. 24. I am so excited because these are all my favorite thrillers. I pulled all of them off their shelves. I have them right here in my book cart. I'm gonna go in no particular order. I'm just gonna give you like a brief, brief synopsis of each one, but these are all of my favorite thrillers of all time, of all time. Definitely make sure you subscribe um, so you don't miss any future videos because I read a lot of thrillers on this channel as well as horror and extreme horror So make sure you don't miss out on all the good thrillers Okay, because I'm very picky. So if I love something, you know, it's a banger. Okay <laughs> So the first one is of course razor blade tears by S.A. Cosby. I'm a little late to the party I just read this one recently, but I really really loved it and this one, we're following this um, black dad with a gay son and this white dad with a gay son. And their gay sons were in a relationship and they were murdered. And now years later, like the case has gone cold and these two dads get together and they start like a little dynamic duo to try to figure out who um, murdered their sons. It's powerful, it's crazy, it's action packed, it reads like a Quentin Tarantino movie. So if you're into that, definitely check this one out. Next is The Last Flight by Julie Clark. This one is a thriller where this woman is uh, escaping her abusive, crazy husband. He's like a senator or something, and she is plotting out a way to like escape him, escape from him and start another life. So she actually like has this plan in place. She's like, okay, I have this flight. When I get there, I'm going to, um, you know, I have a fake ID and a fake identity like waiting for me at the hotel. And then last second, her husband's like, oh, I'm not sending you on that business trip anymore. You're gonna have this different flight to Puerto Rico instead. Turns out there's another woman at the airport that also wants to switch lives with someone. Next, my queen, Karen, Karen Slaughter. This is False Witness. So this one, oh my gosh, the first chapter starts with a crazy twist. Like it starts with a bang. So in this book, we're following a story of two sisters. Karen Slaughter is pretty much always writing about sisters. And we are following this one sister. She's a defense attorney and she gets told that she has to um, be the defense attorney for this man that was accused of sexual assault for many women and she's kind of like mm, like I know he did it you know so it's that moral dilemma and then also we're following her sister's life and also we're learning about their past there is something that happened in their past when they were younger something that happened to them and I don't want to give too much away. Like, I think it's best to go in blind because the first chapter is like the biggest plot twist ever. And it's so good. It does have a lot of like COVID talk. So if that's not something that you're into, like I know a lot of people were annoyed by it and I was annoyed by it. So I think I ended up giving it like a 4.5 because I was like, okay, enough with the talk. Like we know everyone's wearing masks. Some people don't want to wear a mask. Like we get it. Okay. But overall, I really, I just, I'm obsessed with this book. Do we have my favorite book of all time? Like literally my favorite thriller of all time. It's Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. This is just pure perfection. Like this is everything that I'm always looking for in a thriller. So this is about these two sisters again. Both of them, they're like younger, I think it was their younger sister, Julia went missing when they were younger. They never quite got over it. Nothing's really been the same since their sister has been missing. In the beginning of the book, the one um, sister, she's like this rich trophy wife and her husband gets murdered in like the very opening scene of the book. And then the other sister is like struggling and not doing so well. And we are basically piecing together the puzzle of how all these things are connected. Again, I don't want to give anything away. I think it's best to go in blind, but this is probably 
my lights died okay it's honestly like my favorite book of all time i am obsessed next is another classic and it's gone girl by gillian flynn so in this book we are following this man whose wife just disappears and so he's trying to discover like what happened to his wife and the press and the media are all blaming him and you know saying that he is responsible and he's like no I'm not responsible so you're like is he lying is he not like what is going on I would honestly be surprised if this book hasn't been spoiled for you yet um, there is a movie that's really well done I just absolutely love this book and this is just like the twist of all twists it's like set the bar for other thrillers you know because it the twist like no one was expecting at the time that we all read this book you know um yeah i actually heard a little rumor that gillian flynn said she might be writing like a part two to this i'm not sure if that's true or not but she said she's working on another book and she said she would be surprised if she didn't write a part two to this book I have no idea listen that's just a rumor so i have no idea but i would be so excited if she wrote a sequel to this next is kind of like a little bit of a sci-fi thriller i guess and it is the one by john mars one is about this dna test it's like this matchmaking website um it's like you yeah it's a mouth swab and it finds out your soulmate essentially so people are taking this test and they're finding out like the person that they're meant to be with for the rest of their lives and so you're following a few of these couples so like each chapter is literally like three pages it's so fast-paced um, and you're following like a different couple each chapter and you're learning about just like some things that are unfolding in all of their lives they all have secrets they're all um there, there's drama everywhere <laughs> it's very fast paced of course some things go wrong and it takes off from there next is a controversial man peter swanson <laughs> the kind worth killing um i think this is the only good book that he's ever wrote <laughs> <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong rumor has it another rumor guys I'm like the queen of knowing rumors um rumor has it he's coming out with a part two of this book in 2023 just saying just saying listen I said I would never read another Peter Swanson again but I might have to <laughs> so this one is so good so in this book we're following this guy Ted and he meets this woman at an airport I believe and she is like this mysterious woman and he's talking to her and they're kind of learning a little bit about one another and he says like jokingly I guess seriously I don't know he says that he hates his wife and he wants to kill her and Lily the girl that he meets is like mm, okay I'll help you kill her bitch what so <laughs> we are following these two and all the adventures that they are partaking in. Next is another favorite thriller of all time. I would say Pretty Girls is my favorite. This is my second favorite and it's The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. This is one of the first thrillers that I've ever read and it is immaculate. So we are following this man who is a uh, psychiatrist and he's working in this um, mental institution and basically this woman has shot her husband i forget how i mean five times in the face and then ever <coughs> oh bless me ever since then um she hasn't spoken a word so she has gone completely silent so he is like okay i'm gonna take her on as my patient and see if i can get her to open up and speak about what happened and we start learning like what happened that night and we start learning about this woman and things start revealing themselves and the twist the twist i did not see it coming it is so 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 good i have recommended this book to literally everyone and i don't know a single person in my personal life that has read this based off of my recommendation and didn't like it if you don't like this book we can't be friends i love it so much another all-time favorite and all-time favorite author for me 
um, Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. So in this book, we are following this girl, Angela, and she went missing in high school, vanished without a trace. And now in present day, we're following her best friend, you know, at the time. And in present day, they find this girl's remains. It turns out they find her remains very close to her besties. I think her name's Gio. Yeah. To Gio's home. So now we find out that Gio's boyfriend in high school ended up being a serial killer. So there's all these little pieces <laughs> that we are piecing together and learning the history of these three friends and kind of what led up to Angela's death and what actually happened. What Gio knows secrets about Angela's death of course, there's the serial killer aspect, there's past and present timelines. It is so, so, so good. And another one that I love, Lisa Jewell, Then She Was Gone. This is actually like the first thriller I think I've ever read. And this one is pretty messed up. So we are following this girl um, or this woman whose daughter went missing as a teen. Uh, she was 15 and she vanished and her mom like never found out what happened to her and she's trying to get her life back together and meets this man so they start dating and his daughter is eerily similar to her daughter so we're just flipping between different timelines and figuring out like okay what actually happened to her daughter um what is going on with this boyfriend and his daughter? Like, who is his daughter? It, like, it's all these, like, things that start to come together. And it's, like, really sinister. I absolutely loved it when I first read it. And it's really what got me into loving Lisa Jewell. It is just so, so addicting. Next, The Last House Housewife by Ashley Winstead. This one is a new one from this year, and I'm sure you've seen lots of people talking about it. It is this book. It's very messed up. It has a lot of like violence against women. Also, I feel like there are trigger warnings for like all of these books. I forgot to mention the Karen Slaughter books are like very gruesome and disturbing and graphic. So please look up trigger warnings for Karen Slaughter because her books are fucked. Um, <laughs> this one, okay, all the books are falling. So this one we are following, it's like a cult aspect and we're following this girl Shay and when she was in college one of her friends died by suicide. They said, you know, she hung herself and she doesn't think that she actually did it. She thinks that she was murdered. So she goes to meet up with her other, like her male friend from college who now runs a true crime podcast. So the two of them go back to the town and try to like rediscover what actually happened and try to like prove that she was murdered. So we are learning that Shay and her friends were involved with someone very sketchy in college. Another great one is Local Woman Missing by Mary, Mary Kibika. So in this town, there's a woman that goes missing and then there's a six-year-old. So this woman and her six-year-old daughter go missing. So like people are going missing in this town. We're following, it's one of these books where we're like following all the neighbors. You're getting multiple POVs from different neighbors. They're all peeking out their windows, spying on one another. It's kind of one of those vibes. So we're like, okay, who is responsible for what's going on in this town? And then one day this girl shows up and everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's the missing girl. Like it's the missing six year old starting to piece together what actually happened. It is so good, so quick, so fast paced. I was obsessed with every single page of this book. It's so good. Another all time favorite book is They Never Learn by Lainey Fargo. This one is this book where it's like a very much a good for her type thriller. So we're following this woman serial killer and she is a professor at this college and basically she gets revenge on shitty men, like men that are like rapists and you know participating in sexual assault men that are doing very terrible terrible things on this college campus and then we're also following this other timeline a 
few years ago where this college student was on campus and kind of what happened to her and her friends at the time um, that she was in college and it is so good there are multiple twists in this book that I honestly couldn't predict I know some of them might be predictable but I couldn't figure it out next we have the queen of thrillers Miss Alice Feeney this is rock paper scissors I love Alice Feeney she's just like the queen of plot twists um, this one is about this man and woman they go on this uh, little getaway for vacation in this like snowy cabin in the middle of like the woods somewhere and we're figuring out like every year she writes a letter to her husband on their anniversary so we're reading these letters and we're realizing they have some problems in their marriage and um you know they're hoping that this little getaway in the cabin fixes things but little do they know there is someone there spying on them and the three of these people their timelines merge and we start to uncover like what is going on in this marriage I absolutely love this one and I have sometimes I lie by Alice Feeney which is like probably one of the first thrillers that I ever read and my first Alice Feeney this one is so fast-paced so quick and it's short too it's a teeny tiny little book and we're following this woman who's in a coma but she can hear what's going on around her and she's not sure what happens but she has a feeling either her husband or her sister had something to do with it her husband and her sister are coming to visit her while she's in the hospital and we just don't know who to trust you know it's an unreliable narrator typical Alice Feeney fashion and we're not sure you know if we can trust this woman who is telling the story or you know if we can trust the husband or the sister or what happened so we're piecing together what happened to this family and it is sinister it is so good so good such a quick read then another controversial person <laughs> I have Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I like Riley Sager. Is he a mastermind? No. <laughs> um, his latest books have been suspicious but uh, this is probably my favorite thriller of his and it's this girl that goes to um, watch this apartment and she ends up becoming sucked into what is going on in this apartment complex because people have been going missing left and right so she's like what is going on at this sketchy apartment building so as she digs and digs a little bit deeper we start to uncover what is going on in this apartment and it is like a very sinister messed up thing <laughs> that is going on and I really liked this one. Next I have Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. This is a book about this woman in this abusive relationship. Her husband is a piece of shit and we're kind of learning what goes on behind closed doors. She has a um, mentally challenged sister and the sister is the star of this entire book. The twists and what ends up happening obsessed. Then I have Confessions by Kane Minato. This one is this little Japanese um, thriller and it is messed up. Something happens to her four-year-old child and she goes back to the school because she has a feeling she knows what happened and what children are responsible. So she gives them a little talking to um basically telling them like i know who did it i know what's going on trying to get them to confess and the plot twist at the end of chapter one was like oh, what the fuck like so disturbing and basically each chapter you're following a different classmate retelling the story of what happens you're getting the same story over and over from different points of view and then the end the very end the plot twists like it was so so good so well done and so different like so different from what we're used to seeing and it was refreshing next i have big little lies by liam Moriarty. this one one of the first thrillers i've ever read this is more of a drama this has all the drama all the tea like if you're looking for that rich suburban housewife type thriller where they have all the tea about a murder that happened in the town definitely 
check this one out i loved it i also love the show too the show is so well done then i have the life we bury by alan eskins college student who he has to write this paper and he has to write a paper like a biography about someone so he goes to the nursing home and he decides he's going to write his paper on one of the like older gen gentlemen at the nursing home who he is passing away from cancer i believe we find out that this man is a convicted murderer so he's writing this paper about this man's life and he's also a murderer and <laughs> So we're learning like kind of what happened he was a vietnam war veteran so you do get some like little like war stories some like historical fiction type um stories thrown in here and i think it was really well done i really enjoyed it and it's one of those like emotional kind of thrillers like it gave me feelings and emotions and i really appreciate this book next i have another lisa jewel it's the night she disappeared this one is about this mom whose 19 year old daughter and her boyfriend go missing and also you know they have this little baby and so the mom is now raising the baby and we're trying to figure out what happened to them leading up to their disappearance and it's just another classic fast-paced Lisa Jewell with multiple timelines and POVs definitely recommend all her books really they're all pretty much the same <laughs> like not the same but the writing style is the same and it's so so good then I have Pretty Little Wife by Darby Kane. This is about a woman who decides to murder her husband and her husband goes missing. Like the dead body where she left him is missing. So now she's like, oh, um, is he dead? Is he not dead? Like I thought I killed him. And now all these people are looking for him because he's also missing. So they're like, hey, have you seen your husband? And she's like, no, I haven't. Um, I killed him, but I don't know where his dead body is. Like, is he a zombie? <laughs> so we're following, um, I don't know what happened to this dead husband. Then I have The Arrangement by Kirsten Modlin. I read this on Kindle Unlimited. A lot of her books are on Kindle Unlimited and I can't wait to read more. So in this one, we are following this woman, her yeah this woman and her husband they decide to spice up their marriage that they are going to start seeing other people like they're going to allow them to go on dates their only rule is that they can't tell the other person who they're out on a date with so some of the people that they're on dates with might be sketchy they might be sketchy uh rules might be broken i don't want to give anything away it's twisty it's just short quick and there's so many twists that I did not see coming. It was just like a quick, easy, enjoyable, twisty thriller. I think there's another book. There might be even three. It might be a trilogy. I can't wait to read the other books um, and find out where the story ends up going because it kind of left on like a tiny little cliffhanger. And then last but not least is Intensity by Dean Koons, one of the first thrillers that I was obsessed with. So in this story, we're following this girl. She goes to stay at her bestie's house for like a sleepover and someone breaks in and murders her entire family. So this girl escapes from the serial killer and she tries to follow the serial killer to find out like where he's going, who he is, and you know, try to um, figure out where he's going so she can call the cops and blah, blah, blah. Before you know it, she's kind of caught in this web of uh, the serial killer. It is wild, it is fast paced. Uh, we're learning about who this man is and what he does, and it is nuts. So that is it. Those are 24 thriller recommendations. Let me know if you loved any of these in the comments down below and what your favorite thriller is. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!